Please share with us your name, current occupation, and your commitment slash passion for serving the community. Well, after first of all, let me thank all the committee members for putting this event together. This gave me an opportunity just to share a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Joel G. Baker. I am the Fire Chief for the City of Austin Fire Department. Uh, the committees, I mean, my commitment and passion for serving communities, it's just simple, you know, I'm, I'm a, I consider myself to be a servant leader. And with that in mind, it's my goal, uh, as I heard someone say, that all of us should be aspiring to inspire before we aspire. And I truly believe in that because I want to try to inspire as many people, not just about uh, getting engaged in public safety, but just about being leaders in the community, no matter where they stand within their community. So I'm really very committed to um, serving the community and being engaged and being involved in the community. Well, you know, public safety and more specifically the fire service, I believe, you know, we are the first line of defense outside of the military for safety uh, in America. More specifically, more specifically, safety in the city of Austin, because I work for the Austin Fire Department. So, being involved in the community, we do more than just when the bell rings, fight fires. Uh, the fire service is engaged in uh, going to schools and reading to the kids, sharing our experience about public safety in the fire service, and really trying to get community um, to be more engaged in the fire service. Uh, you know, and I also believe that we shall be what we see, and that's an African-American fire chief. Uh, it's my goal, really, one of my goals, and one of my mission in life, to try to get as many people of color to join public safety. Let them know that they have a role to play uh, in public safety, but more specifically have a role to play uh, as a firefighter. There's another, someone out there in the uh, people of color community, whether it be African American, Latino, Hispanic, well, anyone in any community, for example, those youth, uh, they are the next fire chief uh, or the future fire chief uh, in the fire service. So the, the fire department, like I said earlier, we're very engaged in community service. We participate in toy drive, we participate in doing CPR, teaching the community by CPR. We participate in hanging up, uh, handing out free, and I use the word free, I don't the word free, smoke along to keep people safe. We do several other community events um, to help the community out and let the community know that the fire service is really their fire department. Please share with the community what your legacy award means to you. Awarded by the African American Youth Harvest Foundation at the Change in the Story Killer Celebration with Martin Luther King III as the keynote along with the Texas Legislative Black Caucus and the Texas State NAACP Office. Well, the Legacy Award means so many things to me. Uh, to begin with, I am a son of Atlanta, Georgia. The King family uh, originated from it, where the King Center is currently located. Uh, so having been, to, to be just thought up enough to receive the Legacy Award, uh, not only is it important to me uh, as an African-American firefighter or fire chief, but as an African-American per person, but it really continued to lay the foundation so I can continue to give back to the community and be engaged in the community. And really, it gives me an opportunity to think about and reflect on uh, those many, many African-American leaders who came before me, who actually laid the foundation and paved the way, who established the groundwork to give me an opportunity not just to become a fire chief, but to become a firefighter. So I'm from originally from the city of Atlanta, and Atlanta did not hire its first African-American firefighter to April 1st, 1963, and they hired the first 16 African-American firefighters. It was reported to me that the newspaper at that time reported um, the city of Atlanta hired its first Negro firefighter. Uh, what a joke, it was on April Fool's Day. But think about those 16 firefighters who read our legacy and other firefighters, even in Austin, the first three firefighters hired here in Austin, the first firefighter all over the country, it really gave me an opportunity. But then having an organization like the NWCP, and this wonderful organization here, along with the Texas uh, Legislation Black Caucus, to make sure that equity is still in place, equality is still in place, 
and everyone have an opportunity. So I'm, I'm very grateful for those three organizations to give me an opportunity to serve here in the city of Austin as a fire chief. And it's not important uh, that I be recognized as the first African American fire chief. It's more important that I, I am not the last African American fire chief. That's more important than the first. Share with the community your thoughts on the African American Youth Harvest Foundation bringing in Martin Luther King III to the community to keynote these three events, the Statewide Youth Summit, the VIP Brunch, and the Change in the Story Legacy Awards game. Well, when I heard that Dr. Uh, I mean, that Mr. Martin Luther King III was coming in, I was really uh, blown away. I mean, to have someone of his stature and uh, what he continued to do in the community uh, and the impact he has uh, not just locally, but apparently now he's in Texas, so that's another footprint he on a national level. Um, I was very excited and pleased to hear that um, uh, Martin Luther King III would come here and be the keynote speaker. That showed his commitment, uh, not only to the Atlanta area, but to the national area, and come here to Texas. It showed his commitment to how engaging and still he wanted to be active in the community uh, and to stay involved and to just come here and share his thoughts and his process and what's going on, especially right now what's going on in the world. So much going on in the world today. But I'm very excited and I hope he really talk about the beloved community. I won't share what that's all about because I hope he get into what the beloved community is all about. Uh, but having uh, Martin Luther King III come here, to me it's a big deal. I'm just, uh, I met him before, I met him a couple of times uh, uh, since I'm from Atlanta. Uh, but uh, just have him here, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a big deal. At least I think it's a big deal. I'm excited. Everyone should be excited. It's gonna be a great night. Tell your thoughts on the importance of the services the African American Youth Harvest brings to the community, along with 25 black social service nonprofits, Money Warfare, and now the first nonprofit to be awarded a trauma recovery center in the state of Texas. Well, you know, the African American Youth Harvest Foundation, uh, it does so much for the community. Mr. Lawton, when he first called me, I think when I first came to Fire Chief here about four years ago, uh, he really introduced me to help introduce me to the African American community and this community is to hold in Austin. But to have them to continue to do more than just deal with the youth, I mean, it's, it's a bigger footprint. Although the Youth Harvest uh, Foundation is in the name, but it really go beyond the youth, at least in my opinion. Uh, to have this organization be so engaged in the community. Being involved with the African American. Youth Heritage Foundation has really given me an opportunity to give back to the community, to give back to a community that has given me so much, given me so many opportunities. So I'm just really hopeful and pray um, that I give back to the community more than I have received from the community. And this organization, the African American Youth Harvest uh, Foundation, is, is one opportunity for me to give back. So I'm very thankful for that. Would you recommend the community to attend the statewide youth summit? I don't want to recommend it, but I charge or challenge uh, the community to get engaged and come participate uh, in this game. Uh, not because of uh, the various dictators that's going to be there, uh, but it really gives everyone on their level and where they, where they are in their position, their roles, the opportunity to come out and meet and greet everyone in the community and really be engaged and find a way uh, that you can be involved, how you can step up, as I would say, and participate to, uh, to help support the African American Youth Heart Foundation.